I always try to operate from the do no harm. I always, that is always my intention. When you talk about do no harm, that was certainly my intention in doing that story and doing that interview. And the intention certainly didn't align with the impact of the fallout that happened from that. But what got to me was the vitriol and the vulgarity that was just unleashed at me in ways that I couldn't even understand where that was coming from. So I say you may disagree with the story, you may disagree with the way I do the story, but there's just no way, there's just, it's just not fair or okay to be as vulgar and as hateful as what I experienced. I, I think this, I think we can disagree politically, we can disagree socially if you want to, but I just think humanity should prevail always. And I think we, are, we still have to figure out a way to navigate that with each other, that we can disagree and you can be mad at me, even you can be mad at me, but you can't speak to me I love that, the way that I was spoken to and I threatened. Love, I love that you said that through it all, you never questioned who you were. No, I, I absolutely did know. Have you moved on? I, I have moved on. Is there a scab? Yeah, but I have moved on. I put on my game face in my big girl pants because I never lost sight of who I was, what I believe I am, and my intention. I've never lost sight of that. But it certainly was, it was a learning curve and it was very painful.